SoCal Spotlight on one of the crown jewels of Ventura County. Oxnard is a place of beauty with a rich history and, yes, some good food. KCAL News reporter Rick Montanez, who's a native of Oxnard, which I didn't know, joining us now with why everyone loves it there. Rick, I'm learning something new about you today. Hey, Amy, good morning. You know, I have to admit, I'm not from Oxnard. Not sure where that came out, but I'm from Southern California. I've spent my childhood a lot of time here in Oxnard, so it's a place I certainly love to come. And we are in a, a boxing gym because I don't know if you know this, but there's also an endearing term for the city as Boxnard because boxing is a rich culture here in this city. So we're going to bring in Hugh. Hugo Centeno Jr., a boxer here, well-known boxer who you've been boxing since you were seven. You are involved in the gym here. Tell me about the history of boxing in the city. Um, you know, we have a rich history of boxing here in the city. Um, you have fighters like Fernando Vargas, uh, Robert Garcia, and Sergio Martinez, and myself, and, you know, guys that have fought on a world-renowned level. Yeah, people who have trained here, they moved here to train or they grew up here. So that long history, uh, what does it have to offer to the community? Um, you know, definitely I believe it, it attracts people to come and see what we're about, you know, what's in the water. Per yeah. se, you know. And it's something, you know, we were just talking a moment ago about being able to do this as a youth experience. You said they're uh, as young as eight years old, kids can get involved. Absolutely, you know, I feel like a lot of, a lot of kids who come from either, you know, a, a poverty place in, in our town. It definitely keeps you out of trouble, keeps you out of crime, and, and keeps you disciplined, and definitely gives you the confidence that you need as a, as a young man or a girl. Yeah, and boxing is a way of life for a lot of people. I'm sure you will say the same. What has boxing meant to you? Absolutely, it's a, it's a lifestyle. It's not something that you play part-time. It's not seasonal, it's all year round. And so definitely it has taught me discipline and you know, has given me uh, a voice. Okay, so I have to ask because we're highlighting <laughs> Oxnard. What is your favorite thing about Oxnard aside from the boxing? Um, I think that we're a, a, a water-based um, city. You know, uh, being able to have the beach, the beachfronts um, so close by that a lot of people don't have the opportunity to see or travel all around the world to come and see uh, is definitely a, a privilege for us. Right, when we go up, grow up around the coast, we don't realize that people who don't, they <laughs> see it as like a vacation, but we see it as our backyard. Right, absolutely. You know, you have people from all around the world who want to come and see Southern California and its beautiful beaches, and we have it right here in our backyard. So, Hugo, I know we have someone with you, so you're going to show us a couple of moves here. Uh, let's see what, uh, or if you can explain real quick what you're going to show us. Absolutely. Uh, this is something that, that's a, a daily routine for a professional boxer or an amateur boxer, and uh, this is my head coach who's also my younger brother Eddie Centeno and uh, it's a, a family affair. Cool. Well, let's see what you guys can uh, show us here while we talk a little bit more. You know, again, boxing is a rich history here in the city of Oxnard. All morning long for the SoCal Spotlight, we've been talking about the food, the history, uh, the culture, the car culture. There is so much to do and see here, and that is why we chose this area as our SoCal Spotlight for today on this special Friday to see uh, what they have to offer here and checking out them sparring here these two brothers boxing is in their blood it is a way of life for them and we are certainly excited and happy to show off our socal spotlight here in oxnard reporting live rick montanez kcal news all right rick well you know i don't know where i got the fact that you were from there it was written and i just uh, read <laughs> what what i saw but um have you found a little favorite part of oxnard while you've been there today you know, all of the places we went to have been really cool. I mean, this is fun to see here, but I have to tell you when we were at Heritage Square, it's so unique there. There's all these things are unique. And the one thing that I will admit as a Southern California native, knowing about the beaches and having been to the beaches here in Oxnard, that was my favorite place. But now I have so many places to explore. It's certainly a city that I will be visiting more often so I can figure out exactly what officially will become my new favorite place here, Amy. Well, lots of great places. I lived in Camarillo, their neighbor, for a long time and loved to visit Oxnard. So thanks so much, Rick. Appreciate it.